Jeff down here. Rick Henry coming up to give Jeff a hug and talk to his driver. He knows how disappointed Jeff is given the fact that uh, Jeff, take us through, uh, first of all, take us to the, the, the final restart there in the contest. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, we were sitting there a little bit under the tires. I spun the tires a little bit, but I got a pretty decent start. You know, and we went down into one, and I just wanted to get the outside of the 48. And out of nowhere, I just got slammed with the two, and it cut my left rear tire. And he's just, he's just a dipshit, you know? I mean, the way he races, I don't know how he's ever won a championship, and I'm just sick and tired. I mean, that's why everybody's fighting him and running him down. And, you know, your emotions are high. That was a huge, huge race for us. We had the car. We had the position. So proud of my team. I'm proud of Jimmy Johnson for winning that race, not letting up. You know what? Win that race. Oh my God! The, the, con the conflict with with, with the Brad on pit road. You came up. You pulled on the pit road to talk to him. Tell us about what the conversation was about. There wasn't any conversation. You couldn't have a conversation with him. I mean, he beats his own drum, gets himself in this position himself, and he's got to pay the consequences. And you know, I'm gonna race him the same way he races me, but. That kind of stuff just uncalled for, and I'm not going to stand for it. What are the consequences as far as you're concerned with him, and uh, should NASCAR get involved, do you think, or is this between you two? Uh, you know, to them, I'm sure it's just a racing incident, but to me, it's just a bunch of crap. I mean, the, the, the kid is just doing stuff way over his head, and, I mean, that's just uncalled for. You're racing for a win and a championship. You don't, you don't go slam somebody and cut their left tire. so, you know, if that's what it takes, then uh, no problem. I can get the same thing back to him. Okay, Jeff Gordon, his side of the story, and uh, let's go to Dave Burns. Standing by with Kevin Harvick, who has witnessed another brawl following a race here, this time only from second position. Kevin, talk about trying to push through the two there at the end and trying to win this race. Yeah, just trying to do all you could do, and obviously it was uh, no holds barred there with the two. He was in bulldoze mode, so uh, just proud of all my guys on our Budweiser team. Fought all day, uh, put ourselves in position to win, and, and uh, a lot happened at the end of this race, uh, and we were able to, to put ourselves back in the, in the hunt. Again, seeing the emotion after the race like this, what does that mean to you, Kevin, about how this chase is being played? Uh, it's being played rough, and, and you know, it's uh, it's just one of those deals where everybody's trying to get everything they can, and you, and you just do everything you can do to, to uh, do the best you can for your team. All right, 10-4.